were. Well, I was surprised to learn that only about 450 different metal lunch boxes were created between 1950 and 1985. So what happened to metal lunch boxes? Well, in the early 1970s, a concerned group of mothers in Florida campaigned against the use of steel in lunch boxes. They argued that school kids were whacking each other with them and causing permanent damage. Well, the legislature agreed that steel boxes could be lethal weapons, and the sale of metal lunch boxes was banned. Well, since they're no longer made, the value has gone up. But today's collector will tell you the real value of these old lunch boxes is all emotion. Steve Engler's lunchbox collection is a wall of colorful characters. Arranged chronologically, Steve has the first lunchbox ever made, Hopalong Cassidy, in 1950, and the last, Sly Stallone's Rambo character in 1985. And in between is a time capsule of cartoon, comic book characters, and TV icons sure to jog your memory. And the best thing about lunchboxes, they can be very affordable. Many are priced between $15 and $25. Lunch boxes portray what? To me, I think it's Americana. Um, each one, each, each, certainly each decade, uh, you can tell a story. The way I show my lunch boxes on the wall, I line them up, the top is the 50s, and then comes the 60s and the 70s, and of course they ended in the mid-80s. And I've got them lined up that way, and when people come to see them, they can find themselves somewhere in there. I notice some in your collection are scuffed and marked and even dented. Is that okay? With me, it's fine. Uh, if you look in the book, uh, the, certainly the, the more pristine and mint that they are, the higher value they have to a collector. But I like the patina and the fact that it shows that it was slid down under the bus seats or it was banged around in, in the class. Maybe somebody carved their initials into the side of the box. As long as the artwork isn't destroyed, uh, I like that. I like to see that it's been used. Sounds as though you like the connection with the, the energy that's around these boxes. Well, now, I've got to watch this, what I'm saying, but uh, I, I do feel that there's something to that. A lot of people display their boxes on a wall, and I do mm -hmm. the same. And when you stand in front of them, you feel a lot of happy energy. We're surrounded by the happy energy off these boxes, but let's talk about value. What's the most valuable box you have here? Well, it's got to be my Annie Oakley. Mm -hmm. It's a 1955 and it's in almost mint condition. Is that what makes it valuable? That's what makes the it condition. valuable, the condition. What else? Well, I think the artwork. I mean, it's a particularly beautiful box. It's well done. And it's a girl's box from the 50s, what do you really mean? the first. Well, most of them were Roy Rogers and Davy Crockett oh. and uh, Daniel Boone. This is Annie Oakley. Good point. Yeah. So they figured out they needed some for the girls, Something too. for the girls. Now, over here, you have a Zorro box and thermos. Yes. I, I assume that increases the value to have them both. Tremendously. Uh, what happens is the thermos gets separated oftentimes, and you almost have to go out and collect them individually mm -hmm. and put them together. This is a Beatles thermos, but you don't have the box. I don't have the box. I'd love to have the box. And I noticed also this thermos is, the glass is broken. Is that it a is. problem? It isn't, because you can open it up, and it's a broken piece of glass. You get an old thermos for a dollar, and that's banged up, and you replace it. And that and doesn't decrease the value not, of this initial one? Not a bit. If you had the thermos and the box of the Beatles together, how much do you think it'd be worth? Three or four thousand dollars. Really? Yes, it would be. Call this guy with a Beatles box, quick. <laughs> Out of all of your 225 boxes, this is your absolute favorite. How come? Well, I actually carried that to school, ah! and, and I love the artwork. It's really a nicely done box. It's quality art, and there's all kinds of fun stuff on it. There's a fight scene on the side. Yes, look at that. And there's Robin Hood, and it's just, it's, it's all there. If you like Robin Hood, everybody's there. Sherwood Forest. Tell me about this lunchbox. Well, Superman doesn't need much of an introduction. It's a wonderful box. It's tough to get because we're competing as lunchbox collectors with Superman memorabilia collectors oh, as well. sure. So both of you want this Everybody one. Everybody wants Superman. I like the scene on the back. And Look there's at this. Lois and Clark. And it's raised. And it's raised, and so it's kind of a 3D box. Uh -huh. It really makes it really wonderful with the color and the metals raised up. Now, this is one of my favorites in your collection, but you're saying it's not particularly valuable? It's not because they made so many of them. Oh. But it's wonderful. With the dome shape, you can do a lot of fun things. Uh -huh. And the Disney people decided to make it into a bus. 
and it's got people, all the Disney characters peeking out of the windows, and the bottom of the bus is even on the bottom of the box. So it's a wonderful box. Isn't that fun? For those of us who grew up in this era, this wall is just full of memories. Isn't it fun? It's great. Do you have one box here that's your favorite? I do. What? Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy, why? Well, it's the show right on the box. There's yeah. Mork and Mindy <laughs> just the way they were and the way I remember them. Makes you smile. It makes me smile. Yeah. You know, for me, it's this. The Archies. That's, That's a the, great box. Oh, you know, it's the only comic book I think I read every single one of while I was growing up. Isn't that fun? They're all on there. They're around the sides and the back, and uh, everybody's oh, there. Oh, yeah. Chuck they're at Dad a party. I thought I was Betty. I was always losing, losing Archie to Veronica. Uh, it was a nightmare. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's great fun. Wonderful collection, please. Thank you for sharing. Well, you're welcome. We'll be right back.